Hey, did you guys like playing pinball when you were kids? Cause I didn't, but I sure did like Pokemon Pinball, though I actually never played this game before. I only played Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire for the Game Boy Advance. So today, we're gonna be checking out Pokemon Pinball, the original, gotta catch them all. It's kinda weird that I've never played this game, but What's up everyone and welcome to something a little bit different. I know some of you might be confused right now seeing this on your screen. It's just a one-off video. I decided to try out one of these Pokemon spin-offs that I've never played before. I actually did this a while back before as well, uh, just because I don't really know what I'm doing right now as far as my next playthrough goes. So while I'm trying to figure out what the next major project is now that Insurgent is gone, we can play a couple of Pokemon spinball games. Pin pinball. Pokemon Pinball. We're gonna play spin-offs and I tried to spin ball, so we're gonna play Pokemon Spin Ball, and if you guys are excited, you know what to do, man. Hit that button down there. It's it's somewhere down there. I actually don't know. YouTube kind of likes to move it around sometimes, so if you can find that button, you, can, you hit it, you leave a comment, and all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and hit that game start and play some Pokemon Pinball. Like I said, uh, this is just for a little bit of a meantime. It's not gonna be a series or anything. I'm just currently undecided as to what I want to do next as far as a playthrough goes and even if I do decide it's probably going to take a little bit to set it up so we're going to play some spin-offs in the meantime and some other cool games so hopefully you guys enjoy it uh, I did this before and people seem to like it I played Pokemon Dash anyway we're playing pinball today and we got a choice of red and blue like I said guys I did play Pokemon Pinball but I only played the Game Boy Advance one I've actually never played this original one so I'm pretty excited to see what the hype is all about because I know some people love this game man when they were younger and they were like I got a Game Boy for Christmas with a Toy Story that was actually me I, I got Toy Story I never got this game though so we're gonna shoot our ball and bada boom what buttons do we even hit oh god I just took a screen capture that's not the right button I actually have no idea maybe it's just left and right no up oh, there, there I hit one up oh, and uh, I didn't I didn't hit the other one Alright, so I figured out how to hit one of the bumpers. Maybe I'll figure out how to hit the other one this time. It, it's gotta be... Okay, so... It, it, what, what button is it? What button is it? Dude, I... Maybe I'm not the best at pinball here. Okay, look. I'm hitting all the buttons that are on my controller right now. And none of them hit the... None of them are hitting the right tr t bumper thing. I think that's what they're called. They're called bumpers just like a controller. But... I, look, I can only function the other one. How do I use? What the heck, dude? The other one doesn't work right now, so there must be something wrong with my game. Oh, wait, is it X? Oh, it is X. What? Why is it X? And the other one is left? O okay. Well, at least now I know how to play the game, so that's good. Now we can uh, play Pokemon Pinball with the actual controls. Now, the goal of this game, in case you guys don't know, much like the good old Pokemon games, is to catch some Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. It said it on the title screen, man. If you don't pay attention to the title screen, what are you doing right now? You might as well not even be playing this game. And now the ball just... Oh, there we go. I am pretty terrible at pinball, I guess. But the way you catch these Pokemon... Uh, is by hitting those Voltorb at the top, or at least that's how it used to be in the Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire game. I don't actually know how you make the Pokemon appear, but I know that once it does appear, you gotta hit the Voltorbs in order to, uh, 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 catch it. And that's the end of my game. Alright, at least now we know the controls though, so maybe next time we can actually do a little bit better. Whoa, dude. 257,000. That's a lot of money. But it's not money, that's just your score. What, dude? I made it onto the high scores? Oh, no, I didn't. Well, let's try this again. We haven't even been successful in catching a single Pokemon. Actually, we haven't even been able to make one appear yet. And we got the same area as before as well. Uh, so those are the biomes. It's kind of like in the Pokedex. You know, they have all the different areas that you can find Pokemon in. I guess we got the same place twice, which I'm not sure what that place actually is. It kind of looks like it could be Professor Oak's lab, but it definitely might be something else. The ball just spins around and around and it just doesn't stop spinning. Come on, dude. I just got Saber. Whatever that means. I just want to make a Pokemon appear. Because I do remember in the Ruby and Sapphire one. Oop, my eye oh, just turned into a Master Ball, dude. Or Great Ball, maybe? It's some kind of special ball. Oh, there it goes. Up to the Voltorbs again. Can we hit him some more? Ooh, we're going Ultra Ball now, boys. Look at that. We went from Poke to Great to Ultra Ball. I think maybe if we make it a Master Ball, we can catch something in one hit, dude. Ooh. Pikachu just shocked our ball. I don't know what that did, <laughs> but it looked cool. 
Okay, now Pikachu actually switched sides. So we gotta make sure that he doesn't fall over there. Up, oh, up, oh, up it goes again. And down. Whoa. You know what I realized? A Pokemon pinball game would totally work on the DS with the dual screen. Like you could just have it go up to the top screen when it, you know, goes up. So why haven't they made a Pokemon pinball game for DS? That is the real question, man. Game Freak, Junichi Masuda, my boy. You gotta get on that, dude. You gotta make that Pokemon pinball DS. Come on. We're, we've all been waiting for it. We know it's coming. What if it actually did get made and I just never play, paid attention? Eh, I don't think so. I mean, they made Pokemon Troze. It's, uh, it's a puzzle game. Oh, and the ball is spinning. Did a Pokemon actually appear? Because we have a timer of some sort. It might just be... Oh, we got bonus multiplier now. Hurry up. What am I trying to hurry up with, dude? I'm just trying to get a Pokemon and nothing's even appearing. Oh, there it goes. We're hitting the ball. It turned back into a great ball, apparently. Ooh. Nine seconds left on the clock. Ah! What just happened to our ball? We gotta make it into the middle. Come on, just go in the middle. Go go in the... No! Go in the middle! Oh, God, we lost. We totally lost, dude. Map move failed. Oh! So if we made it into the middle, we would have moved on to a different map. So it wasn't actually ending our game. We would have just moved on to another map. I see now. I understand how pinball works. You just gotta make sure the ball doesn't go down the middle. Oh! And Bellsprout finally ate it. <gasps> I think a Pokemon finally appeared, guys. Now what we have to do is hit the Voltorbs, and slowly but surely, we'll reveal what that Pokemon is. Of course, we already know that it's John Cena, so... We don't even have to figure out what Pokemon... Oh, never mind, it's Tentacool, guys. I actually thought it was John Cena. It's, it turns out it's Tentacool. And now all we gotta do is hit it a couple of times, and bada-boom, we caught ourselves a Tentacool. Just... up oh, there we go. Now we caught... Tentacool. If we actually ca ca caught it, did we catch it? We did it! 1,400,000! Wow! Wait, we got to catch three poke? What? Dude, this game never ends. Oh my. What the heck? Dude, this game actually never ends. We gotta catch three Pokemon. Look, I just managed to catch one after like freaking five minutes. So. What makes you think that I'm going to be able to catch three? Game, what makes you in any way think that I am possibly going to even get close to catching three Pokemon? Come on, let's be real, dude. It took me like five... I don't know how long it took me, okay? But it took me a long time to even catch a Tentacool. And that's something you can catch in every water ever in every game. So... Don't know uh, what kind of pedestal you're putting me on here for Pokemon Pinball, but... I'm certainly not making that Guinness Book of World Records anytime soon, is what I'm saying. We just got 24 million points though, and we still have two more balls apparently. So that's pretty crazy, I think. This is a fun game though. For having never played it, I'm actually, I'm pretty, I'm enjoying this pretty much. A lot, actually. I don't know what I was trying to say there by saying pretty much. But, what I was trying to say is that this is actually a very fun game. And I can imagine spending a lot of hours on it, like back when I was a kid, if I actually had it. But for whatever reason, I never got into Pokemon Pinball. Oh, no! Oh, that was a pretty crappy ball. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, but I never got into Pokemon Pinball until the Ruby Sapphire one. I guess maybe because that's when I actually got into Pokemon myself. Because previous to then, it was just my cousin that had it. He had Pokemon silver and then he had crystal and I played that but I never actually had my own Pokemon game until Ruby and Sapphire so maybe that's why I didn't get this pinball game I don't know I remember having a Game Boy though and then I got Toy Story on it and it was pretty awesome but not this game would have been fun to have my mom probably would have liked it my mom actually really likes pinball she likes Galaga actually I don't like pinball apparently cuz there goes my ball yeah so there's actually, did we even make, no, we didn't even break the top five. We got to get a hundred million points to even break the top five, guys. And I only got like, what, 24,000 there, 24 million, I mean. Oh boy. Let's check out our Pokedex. We totally caught a Tentacool there. It's going to be the only Pokemon in this entire thing. Of course, it is just the original 151, because what else would it be? This is this Pokemon Red and Blue, boy. You can't have them sixth generation. You think Goomy's from another dimension? Because he totally is. All right, we're going to play the blue board this time and hopefully not get... Yeah, we got the city, boy. That's awesome. And this time around, you can see on the blue board, we actually have some different stuff. Instead of hitting Voltorbs, you can hit some uh, Shelter. And we got my boy Psyduck over there chilling. Maybe we can hit him. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. We hit Psyduck. He's got a two next to him now. That dude is wondering, like, is this a number? Is this a letter? I don't know, dude. I'm just, I'm just a poor duck, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Apparently, I got ball saved, though, so we're good, guys. My balls are safe in the hands of an angel. All right. What I don't get is why that, like, saver thing keeps popping up. Are you see- Dude, what the- You gotta be kidding me. I did so well for, like, a very long time, and now I just- I, I can't- I can't do anything. I'm just the worst at this, ever. I can't even reach the shelters on this one, dude. What the heck is going on? Look- Look at- What? Why? Why, Pokemon Pinball? Why? What? I didn't- I just- Why'd you do that to me? Why'd you do that, Junichi? Oh, and Cloyster ate it, and now we got a Pokemon, and it looks like that is a Bellsprout to me, if I've ever seen one. <gasps> we finally made it up to the shelters, so by hitting the shelters is how you get the Pokemon to appear. I think you gotta hit it six times, so one more. Ooh, baby, there we go. That Bellsprout is definitely about to appear. Now we just gotta make sure to catch it, so there it is, and... What's up, Bellsprout? Ah, there we go. Oh, can we hit it again? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, nice. I saved it that time. I don't know how I saved the ball. I just got to make sure to hit both of them so that I can save the ball as best I can. Oh, come on down. Okay. Nope. And it's going to go right back around. This time it's going to fall down the middle. Maybe hit Bellsprout. Come on, dude. Hit that Bellsprout. Oh, yeah. One more. One more. One more. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got Bellsprout, boys. We've got two Pokemon so far. And probably two of the best Pokemon you've ever seen in the world. That's that's pretty hype. We got we got two Pokemon. Now, the only thing I still don't get about this game is how do you get more Pokemon to appear? Because so far, we've only been able to get one. And it was by having one of those guys at the top eat the ball. Ooh, that was a good save there, if I do say so myself. So I'm assuming we got to get that thing in, either into Slowbro or into Cloyster in order to get a Pokemon to appear. But that seems to be a lot harder to do than... It's a lot easier said than done. Let's just say that. Because when our ball went into the Cloyster, I honestly have no idea how it even got in there. So, we'll just keep hitting Psyduck for now. That dude is sleeping, man. He's done. He, he doesn't want any of it. Just like, Pokemon Pinball, dude? No, get me back to the anime. I want to be with Misty. At least she knew how to hit the balls, you know? This guy doesn't even know how to hit the balls right. Oh, well. Whatever floats Psyduck's boat, my boat is floated by this Slowbro, which actually just... Dumped my ball! Alright! Great job, Slowbro! I thought you would give me a new Pokemon. But you didn't. You just, you spit out my ball and then, and now, now I'm done. Oh, never mind. We actually have another ball, so... That's good. I was like, dude, Slowbro, did you really just end my game just like that, dude? Alright, so we had another successful, or kind of successful run where we caught a Pokemon at least. So that means that now my ball is gonna fall within, like, a minute or something. Because that's what happened last time, and I'm just... Kind of expecting it to happen again. Ooh, what if we hit Poliwag three times? Does that also make a Pokemon appear? I think it might. There we go. We hit it again. Let's see if we can hit that Poliwag one more time because I think that's some kind of like... Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> uh... Sad times, dude. Not even close, baby. Not even close. <coughs> All right, let's give this one more try. Uh, I kind of like my chances on red more because it seems easier to hit those uh, Doug Trio, whatever, Bellsprout. It seems easier to hit Bellsprout than it is to hit that Cloyster or Slowbro. So we're going to play this one one more time and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about uh, what's going on right now. So I know that I mentioned that I don't really know what the next major playthrough is going to be. And so I wanted to ask you guys what you think that we should be doing up next because I definitely want to do another main series Pokemon game. It's been a long time since I've done a main game. We've been doing a lot of hacks, a lot of fan games, which I mean, I don't mind that. I think my channel is mostly known for Pokemon hacks, so I don't I never really minded doing the Pokemon hacks, but I know that some people only like the main game. Some people only like the fan games. Hey, we got Bellsprout, but it didn't make a Pokemon appear, so... I guess there, there's some kind of special condition, dude. It's not just get it in the Bellsprout. There's definitely something else that you gotta do. Right now we're in the- Ooh, nice! We got it in! And now we're in the Roman Colosseum. Where's my ball? Oh, there it is. What, what the heck, dude? They totally stole my ball there. Why'd you- You can't do that. You can't just jack a man's balls. That's- that's dumb. You don't do that. Ooh, nice. Look at that. There's actually some letters. And then I lost it. 
I was getting excited because I noticed that there's some little letters in where the balls can fall through and they have letters on them. Like there's, there's some little circles with letters on them. Anyway, the point is going back to what I was talking about. If you guys have any suggestions for what main playthrough we should do next, like a Nuzlocke or a randomizer or a main series game that we should do a special run of or something like that, uh, let me know in the comments. And I will definitely try to read all of those and consider what it is that's coming up next. For now, I'm going to be playing some more... Alright, forget this. Let's play a real man's game. It's Space Cadet Pinball, baby. This thing is in 3D. Do you even know what that means? This is a real pinball game now. Pokemon Pinball, that was pretty good. But this right here, this, this is a real good... Anyway, now we charged up the lightning bolt next to Bellsprout, so summon the Thunder God, here we go, woo! If we can just hit Bellsprout, that would be great, or lose my ball, that's okay too. Well, forget this game, that's about it, I'm gonna go eat the semi-hop, see you guys next time. Just kidding, look at that, I got a Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Okay, that, I guess. That can happen too, but we got a Pokemon, guys, so now all we gotta do is hit the shelters and we can catch this, uh, good old guy here. I'm sure you guys know who it is. Uh, he, lo he looks kind of familiar. Let me give you a hint. Uh, we're blasting off again. <laughs> do you know who it is yet? D do, you, do you get it? It's, it's Meowth, guys. It's Meowth. And now we hit the shelter enough times that he can actually pop up and battle us, so come on out, Meowth. Get, get over here and get in that ball, boy. Ooh, yeah, slap that ball right up to the Meowth, preferably. Oh, I just I just lost again, okay. But apparently now I've got Lightning Ball. At least down in the bottom sidebar thing, it says I've, I've got a Lightning Bolt Ball, so whatever that means, I've got it, bro. Oh, oh, I almost failed it there. For some reason, the game got really choppy. No! Okay, we still have another chance somehow. I actually don't know how we did that, but we got Meowth, dude. My ball literally just fell like five times and somehow it didn't ruin this. So there we go, guys. We caught three Pokemon. That's all I wanted, just three. We got Bellsprout, we got Meowth, and we got uh, Tentacool. Those, those are all pretty cool Pokemon, right? At least I, I think they're pretty good, you know. Normally you'd find them on like a like a youngster maybe, uh, perhaps like a, like a fisherman. Um, maybe, maybe a bug catcher a little bit. Not really, none of those are bugs, but you know, maybe, maybe some kind of youngster out there with a very powerful team. Tentacool, uh, Meowth, and Bellsprout. It's pretty good. Actually, that sounds more like a Picnicker's team, maybe. Like a Picnicker, they kind of have all kinds of Pokemon, don't they? Oh, come on, no, go up the left side. Oh, or, or, or we could go into Cloyster. That's good too, I don't mind that. How the heck do we make Pokemon appear? I still literally don't understand that look there's these green indicators at the top there wh where the shelters are but i don't know if those do anything uh, apparently they they do uh my ball went into cloister before and that gave me a pokemon but now now it just ends my game and this time it's for real i'll see y'all in the next episode coming next year